Uh, why, hello, replay viewers. Let's see who tunes on in. Madam Mojo out there in Cleveland. Cleveland rocks. And good to see a Caroline N. Good to see a Ramona A. Good to see a Leela Sorensen. Good to see a Chilla D in 360. Good to see a BK Skip. Welcome. Good to see a JC Droid. Welcome. Welcome to Roosevelt Island here in the East River. Good to see you, Nana. No, how you doing? Fantastic. We're gonna explore some interesting and uh, very uh, visual art. So let's do it. Good to see you, Sally. Good to see you there. Happy Thursday, all. Good to see you, Jack CC. Shout out to all the channel members. Thank you so much for being channel members. Much, much, much appreciated. Uh, New York, yeah, that's where I live. Uh, good to see you there, Sarge. You showed up early. Okay, finally showed up early. Good. Good to see you there, Sarge Tech. Good to see you, John Lore. Good to see you, Actoba. Welcome. Welcome to Roosevelt Island. Uh, let's walk along the waterfront. Virtual Voyage. Hello. Good to see you, Robin Richter. Welcome. Good to see you, Gus NYC. Good to see you, Gus. Esteban Buenvenido. Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome to Roosevelt Island. There's the Queensboro 59th Street Bridge right over there. And we're going to make our way to the north part of the island before making our way to the south part of the island. Love the tour? Well, we're only two minutes into it, so you're going to love it. Good to see you, Phyllis. Good to see you, Dindin. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome on into the show. Let's go this way here. Just really got to wander here on the Roosevelt Island. Good to see you, Jessica, out there in New Zealand. Oh, sorry, not New Zealand, the Netherlands. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Jessica. Good to see you out there in the Netherlands. Welcome. Good to see everybody on this gloomy day. Maybe the sun will come out during today's live stream. I will got this. I will stay at home and I will stay at home and I will look a video call and video call. Yes. Um, good to see you. Welcome. Be careful with those emojis because uh, the Nightbot doesn't take too kindly to emojis. Uh, welcome on into the show. Let's, uh, let's see. Can we get down to the waterfront from here? That's what I want to do. I want to walk along the waterfront because there's some nice views along the water around here. But this is Roosevelt Island, formerly known as Welfare Island. A lovely spot in the middle of the East River. And I'm going to figure out how to get to the north part of the island right now. Kind of hard to get lost here on Roosevelt Island. Only so so far you could go. A little bit later on in today's live stream, we will be visiting Four Freedoms Park in the southern end of the uh, of the island, and then we'll make our way over to uh, the Roosevelt Island Tram. We'll then ride the Roosevelt Island Tram over into Midtown, and there's some more weird art in Midtown. Hitting for the park. I think I'm hitting for the park. Good to see you there. Uh, Rebel Jacks out there in London. Good to see you. How the hell do I get down here? This is so weird. This is, this little spot here is so weird. All right, let's go over here. Good to see you, Lim uh, Linda K. Good to see you, Linda K. Good to see you, Deming. Welcome. Such a weird little spot here. It's called Four Freedoms Park. No, no, no. Where is this at? Did I just describe it? Put a one in the chat if you heard my description of where we're at just literally about 10 seconds ago. Do I have to repeat myself? I guess I do. Good to see you, Elise. Welcome. Again, we're on Roosevelt Island, and it's in the East River between Midtown Manhattan and uh, Queens. Yeah, read the description, right? Did you hear it, John? I, I thought I, I literally just explained myself, but I guess not. Good to see you, RoboJacks. Good to see you, Susan Ingalls. You heard it too, uh, there, Susan and Ramona? Awesome. Okay, you guys pay your attention. And there's Andy S. asking where we're at. Let me repeat myself over and over again. Let's, let's ask myself over and over again. So let's, let me, I'm just going to start, I'm just going to keep explaining myself over and over again. Here we are, we're in the East River. We're in, on Roosevelt Island. It's in between the borough of Queens, and behind me is the borough of Manhattan. We're on Roosevelt Island. We're in the middle of the East River. We're in between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Here we are live on Roosevelt Island, here in the middle of the East River. 
We're in between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Here we are in the middle of Roosevelt Island, here in the middle of the East River. We're in between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Here we are in the middle of Roosevelt Island, here in the, in the borough. Uh, but technically we're in the borough of Manhattan, but we're between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. There's the Queensboro 59th Street Bridge, Ed Koch, Queensboro 59th Street Bridge. But here we are in the middle of Roosevelt Island between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. To be exact, this is the Ravenswood Power Generation Plant, also known as Big Alice. But here we are in the middle of Roosevelt Island in between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens here in the middle of the East River. But here we are in the middle of the East River here on Roosevelt Island between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Here we are in the middle of the East River between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens here on Roosevelt Island. Here we are on Roosevelt Island in between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Here we are in the middle of Roosevelt Island here in the middle of the East River between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Did I say Roosevelt? Yes, I did say Roosevelt. Here we are on Roosevelt Island between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens here in the East River. Here we are in the middle of the East River between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens here on Roosevelt Island. Yes, they got rid of Welfare Island a long time ago. They used to be called Welfare Island and before that it was called like Rockwell Island. Anyway. October with a $10 so much chat. October, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Thank you so much for joining the $5 Club two times today. You appreciate me bringing these live streams. Yes, thank you so much. Good to see you, Brooklyn Bella. Welcome, Brooklyn Bella. Welcome to Roosevelt Island here in the middle of the East River between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. But here we are on Roosevelt Island, between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens, in the middle of the East River. Hello there, Brad. Welcome. Welcome to Roosevelt Island. Roosevelt Island, a thin little island in the middle of the East River, between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. There is a bridge between Roosevelt Island and Queens, and that's right up ahead. Good to see you, ABX girl, working and listening. Awesome. My needle is stuck because people need me to repeat over and over again. But here we are on Roosevelt Island in the middle of the East River between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. How much coffee did I drink? I drank a lot of coffee. Had, had a great lunch. Had a great lunch, had a chicken quesadilla and three mugs of coffee. Had to do a bicycle tour in the cold and uh, doing much better now. Good to see you, Jerry. Welcome. Welcome to Roosevelt Island here in the middle of the East River between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Roosevelt must have been a famous person. I think he was a president. <laughs> Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Be the traveler, you're eating lunch, congratulations. Good to see you, Sarah, welcome. Never saw this side of the island, yeah. Well, we're on the uh, east side of Roosevelt Island here between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. We're on the east side of the island, so this is facing, this is facing the Queens side. Over there, Astoria, Queens. Um, over there, there's Queensboro Bridge Park. That's the Queensboro Bridge. This is the big Ravenswood power generation plant, also known as Big Alice. Good to see Activity 79, welcome. It is nice. Hello to all in the family, welcome. Let's make our way up to the north end of the island here where there is some weird art to encounter. And replay viewers, please take a shot every time I say we're on Roosevelt Island. <laughs> Good to see you, Colleen, welcome. I should just go to Times Square every day. That's it, I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna give up trying to be, uh, I'm gonna just give up trying to cultivate a smart audience. <laughs> You live in Florida right now, but you love seeing where you grew up. Awesome. Weird art for the win there, Jim. Good to see you. Yes, weird art for the win. <laughs> you don't want me to do that, John? Okay. You're a channel member, so I won't do it. <laughs> Please don't. All right. You're a channel member, Ramona. I won't do it. 
You live in Fort Lauderdale, awesome. No Times Square, Cynthia? Okay, Cynthia, it's okay. Hello there, Michelle King, welcome. Sorry, hello Dutch, hello, hello there, Colleen. Good to see you there, Alfred, welcome. Hello there, Mir C. I'm something special. Ah, welcoming speech. Is that you? Good to see you there, Mir C. Welcome. Let's make our way to the north end of Roosevelt Island here. What is the best way to get to Roosevelt Island from Manhattan? The subway, the F train. It's a fantastic way to get across. Thanks to Activity 79 for being a member of the channel for three months. Much, much appreciated. Good to see you, Michelle Denny. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, you guys. <laughs> yes. I am something special, all right? I am something special. Hi, guys. My name is Dutch. I like cheese. Love my stream. Speeds don't change. I won't change. Where's the sun today? Behind clouds. There's this thing called weather. I had to do a bicycle tour in the rain this morning, so. All right, electric company yell. That's right. That's right. Activity 79 with a 10 Swedish Krona Super Chat. Activity 79, thank you so much for the 20, 10 Swedish Kronas. Much, much, much appreciated. You read the description. Yes, I am special. I try to be special, John. Thanks for reading the description. Uh, the name of this vote is, what kind of cheese do I like? I like cheddar cheese. Um, you think, yes, there is a bus that comes out on here. There is a bus that comes here from Queens. That is the Koalified Cruiser. Are there koalas on that boat? That's the Koalified Cruiser. I like that name. I want to ride the Koalified Cruiser. <laughs> Oh, that's like the perfect palate cleanser for my brain. That boat. Good to see you, Rosalind. Welcome. <laughs> the Koalified Cruiser. Wow, I wanna, I wanna ride, are there, are, there, are there koalas on that boat? Guess what, Brad, we're riding the Roosevelt Island tram a little bit later on in the live stream. We will be riding the Roosevelt Island tram. We're gonna go back into Midtown. We're gonna go to uh, Rockefeller Center and there's some more weird art to check out in Rockefeller Center. But sorry, kids, we're not going to Times Square. You're just going to have to watch somebody else to do that. No doubt there'll be three or four other people going to Times Square later on tonight. So if you need Times Square content, just type in NYC Live here in the YouTube chat. Here, I mean, here in the YouTube search, search box, and you're bound to find it. There's literally people going to Times Square every day. What bridge is this? This is the, I want to say this is the 73rd Avenue Bridge. This is the bridge that takes you into... Astoria, Queens, but I always forget the name of this. I want to say it's the 37th Avenue Bridge, but I could be wrong. But it is named after the avenue that it links onto on the Queens side. Good to see you, Shields. Welcome. Hope you're feeling well. Hope everyone's feeling well on this Thursday. But this takes you into Astoria, Queens. There's a city bus right there. There's a city bus going into Queens, right there. Yeah, I don't know, I always forget the name of that bridge. It is a lift bridge, so this whole structure here lifts. Oh, is it called the Roosevelt Island Bridge there, Jim? Thank you so much. Good to see you, Nigel, welcome. Ah, it is called the Roosevelt Island Bridge, all right. There you go, folks. The Roosevelt Island Bridge. Feeling great. Awesome. Glad to, hope everyone's feeling great on this Thursday. Any interest in live streaming the Transit Museum? October, I have a video where I have done a pre-recorded video at the Transit Museum. So you go digging around in my old, my old YouTube videos, you're bound to find it. Um, you cannot live stream inside of the Transit Museum because there's no signal down there. I did try to work with the uh, New York City Transit Museum to work on their company Wi-Fi, on their employee Wi-Fi, and it just did not work. So uh, go digging around in my old videos. I did do a tour on their pre-recorded video 
here on this YouTube channel, so check it out. And yes, Mir C, the Ravenswood Power Generation Station right over there, and it is generating power. It's called Big Alice. That's its nickname. Good to see you, Darren. Welcome. You've been to Roosevelt Island, but you never took the bus to Queens. You want to. Awesome, awesome Cynthia. Yeah, take the bus out there. There's so many people going to Coney Island these days. When does it start to get really busy? Alfred, probably this weekend. Probably this weekend. It's going to be 90 degrees Fahrenheit this weekend, so it'll start getting crowded this weekend. No doubt. And there is a fun event we will be seeing in Coney Island on uh, Sunday. So stay tuned. Mm. <laughs> ah, you're more than welcome, Mercy. Yes, the Ravenswood power generation plant. Besides generating power, it also generates a little bit of steam for the buildings here on Manhattan Island. Good to see a Paula Boyd. Welcome. So we're walking up the east side of Roosevelt Island, looking out across to Queens, to Astoria, Queens. And we're making our way up to the north tip of the island here. Never made it to this side of the island before. Well, Darren, now you can check it out sometime. We ain't, we ain't going anywhere. It's always fun to go exploring around. But yesterday had a lot of fun exploring around Queens and the Queens Museum. And we'll do that again in a few more weeks. I gotta take you guys into uh, Willits Point and go, go wandering around over there. But it's a murky kind of cool day here in New York. As you see, the sun is behind clouds and bloody hell, that's a big comment. Um, I gotta hold on guys. If I miss comments, I've got to read this whole book here. Uh, you have lots of work to do, so you have to watch the replay. This is a great walk. We often forget about this island. Have a great day, Cynthia. Have a great day. Dennis, it is dank. Yes, it is. It is dank. Yes, it is. The RFK Triborough Bridge off in the distance. And hello, welcome. Ah, uh, here comes comes another NYC ferry, making its way up, making its way north, here in the East River. Thank you so much, John. Did I ever walk in Malba? I don't know what Malba is, Triple G. Good to see you. Good to see you, Jennifer. Welcome. I don't even know what Malba is. But now we're across from, from Astoria, Queens. We're in the middle of the East River. Ah, that's good to know, Shields. There was absolutely no uh, news information about that. <laughs> I like to just say this once. Please keep the chat relevant to the live stream. Unless I try to go off on random tangents. I try to read all the comments and try to keep it fun for everyone and so everyone could feel welcomed. So please, let's not try to go off on tangents and randomness. But Douglas Fatiglia with a $5 super chat. Douglas, aloha. Thank you so much for the $5. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 Club. Much, 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 much appreciated, Douglas. Much appreciated, Douglas. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining today's $5 super chat. Thanks for sponsoring the video. You guys have already uh, bought my subway fare up here. And also, I got me a candy bar before live streaming. So you guys bought my candy bar. So thank you so much, guys. 
Much, much, much appreciated. More exciting adventures to come here in New York, especially Saturday. Saturday is a live stream you do not want to miss. It's going to be a fun one on Saturday. A real fun one on Saturday. Malba is an expensive, exclusive neighborhood. Really? Adjacent to Whitestone, Willits Point? Well, you know Willits Point's in Queens. But, okay. I'll look into that. I'll look into Malba. I never heard of that neighborhood before. Uh, all good indeed. Awesome, Douglas. How are the rich humans? Literalist. You're going to have to find out yourself. Uh, I highly recommend checking out Google to find out the list of rich humans. Good to see you, Susan. Thank you so much. Only takes a second. That's right. Thank you so much, Susan, for those kind words. All right. Let's continue on here. We have already begun people random, random comments, rando comments, rando comments. I wonder where Lambo is. On to the next one. On to the next one. Yes, rich humans. A Dutch is rich. I'm rich in love. Where are we? Welcome to Governor. Welcome to Roosevelt Island, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Roosevelt Island. Welcome to Roosevelt Island. Here in the middle of the East River. I'm between the boroughs of Manhattan over to the west and Queens over to the east. Shout out to Derek. Hello, Derek. This is not a walking channel. That's what everyone thinks I am. And <laughs> Remember, people could put tour in their title of the video, but is it really a tour? <laughs> is it really a tour? You know, I only have a license from the city of New York to give tours. That is my main profession. I do lead tours over the Brooklyn Bridge, and I also lead walking tours over the Brooklyn Bridge, Central Park, Coney Island. I also part-time work in Coney Island for various institutions. It's a walking tour. That's right. This is really a tour, Shields. This is really a tour. Hello there, Frank Johnson out there in the great state of Maine. Welcome. This is a walking tour, Shields, because we're going to see art. My, my live streams tend to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. I don't just aimlessly walk. So you going into Times Square or the city? Uh, last time I checked, Eric, I am in the city of New York right now, but we're not going to go to Times Square. We're going to go to Rockefeller Center at the end of this live stream. That'll be our final destination, but we're not going to Times Square. Hey, what a concept, right, John? What a concept. Hey, my God, what a concept. I think my content's too smart for a lot of people. I'm going to have to dumb down my content. <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting my energy trying to provide meaningful content. Please know Times Square, you got it. Be in Times Square or be square. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be square. I don't get easily triggered, no. We won't go to Times Square, kids. We won't go to Times Square. There's enough people going to Times Square every day anyway. The river seems so calm. Yes, it is. Usually the channel between uh, Roosevelt Island and Queens is, is always usually calm. And it looks like we're at high tide right now also. Uh, the boy Carter Ogville says that he is eight and wants to say hello. Hello, Carter. Welcome. Good to see you, Norman, out there in Bangor, Pennsylvania. Yes, we got to weed those people out. Yes, and... Hip to be square. Yes, I remember Huey Lewis and the news. Remember Huey Lewis and the news and the album Sports? That was a damn good album, damn it. I had that on LP. Bring back the 80s. Don't dumb down your comedy. We got the dumb people. October, you got it. You got it, October. You got it. I think we do need to weed out the dumb people. Yes. I remember Huey Lewis and the news. I was more of the news fan. I I like the I <laughs> really dumb now. 
Where's Roger Grimsby, damn it? Where's Roger Grimsby? <laughs> Is there anything on Randall's or Ward's Island worth seeing? Not really, not really. Did I do freestyle back in the day? Absolutely, Triple G. I did a lot of freestyle back in the day. Um, yeah, I did a lot of freestyle back in the day. Me and uh, Huey Lewis and the News had many collabs back in the late 80s. And uh, yeah, some fantastic, fantastic freestyle back in the day. Sally, I try to be funny. Here, now the news. Um, more interesting. <laughs> more than enough people going to Times Square. This is Roosevelt Island. Thanks to Josh. Life is good when diversity is on the card. That's right, Mircy. Carter can't stop laughing. Awesome. That's my job, Frank. Good to see you, Carter. Welcome on into the show. <laughs> I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. There's a place in New York called Dumbo. Duh. Yes, Dumbo, down under Manhattan Bridge overpass. But some, some uh, I like to say gentrifiers, call it district under Manhattan Bridge overpass. But there, there's a neighborhood in, in New York called Dumbo. Boo. Uh, antibiotics, <laughs> antibiotics made you funny today. Awesome. Nine day post operative. Awesome. Shields, I'm glad you're doing well. I am pretty good with the voice of Sally. I went to school for it. I went to school for this nonsense. Can you imagine? Yes. Yes. Oh, wrong side, my friend. You're going to have to walk all the way south. But just stay straight here. Look for the big glass building after the subway. So just south of the bridge, just south of the big bridge that goes across the whole island, but go south. Okay, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. All right, somebody looking for Cornell University, walking the wrong direction. He was a nice guy. Can I do a... <laughs> no, I, I, I can only do Bill Butel after he drank a lot of scotch. It's like, I'm Bill Butel, I'm blah, blah, blah. I missed the Bill Butel drunken sign-off that used to be here on YouTube. There was a sign-off that he did back in 19... I want to say 1979 or 1980, where he couldn't say his own name. And he was literally that drunk, and he turns red and everything. And he can't say, I'm Bill Butella. He couldn't say it. He couldn't say it. And then Roger Grimsey's like staring at him, giving him like the evil eye. It was such a great video. But damn you, YouTube! They took it off. They took it off. I missed that video so much. That, actually, that video was in my favorites playlist. Nightbot is funny. All right, you remember seeing that, John Lore? That was like an infamous clip. From your experience and visit, New Yorkers are nice. Absolutely. The majority of New Yorkers are nice. The New Yorkers that are rude are usually gentrifiers from other states and cities. Just saying. <laughs> like people who usually just moved here are the rude ones. But New Yorkers, for the most part, we're nice people. We're nice people. Oh my God, Sue Simmons, remember that? Remember Sue, Sue Simmons cursing out, uh, cursing out uh, uh, Chuck Scarborough? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? I miss Sue Simmons. Oh, I got to meet Sue Simmons a handful of times uh, when going to go to uh, Conan O'Brien tapings back in the 90s. And she was just so nice. And it was the days before cell phones and everything, so, you know, I have all those memories in my brain. <laughs> but boy, that was great. Simpler times. All right, you used to watch them all the time, Jennifer? Yeah. Jack Cafferty, live at five. Ugh. Simpler times. No, she could never get through a newscast without messing up, no. No, she can never do it. But she was one of the greats. She was one of the greats. I see my weird art coming into view. This is why you guys are watching. It's time for some weird art. Let's do it. So, good to see you, RJ, out there in the great state of Colorado. Welcome. She fell out of her chair live and was known at bars for getting her martini on. Yes, indeed, ABX girl, yes, indeed. I got to see a little bit of that ABX girl. What bar was it? It was the bar right in, right in uh, 
Rockefeller Center. What's the name of that one? They did the open for for uh, Saturday Night Live there. Fuck, what, what's the name of that bar? There's a bar in Rockefeller Center, and I went there uh, with some, actually with some family, and we saw Sue Simmons drinking in there with, with a whole bunch of other people, and she was like the life of the party. By the way, the bar is still there. But yeah, we're headed to the lighthouse, Mercy. We're headed to the lighthouse because here at the northern end of Roosevelt Island is our art. Here it is. You see the light? Lampshade or her head? No, she was, it was, she was just hanging out. Roosevelt Island is great there, Sean. Good to see you. Yeah, well, she wasn't wearing a lampshade on her head. But she was telling jokes loudly. Not the Rainbow Room. Not the Rainbow Room. Not the Rainbow Room. Not Del Frisco's. No, 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 no. Not Del Frisco's. The one where Phil Hartman did the open for Saturday Night Live. Hey. So, here we have some famous women. The name of this art is called... While I live, I hope. Nellie Bly. Good to see you there, Darlene. And for more information, you could always scan the QR code. Girl, the girl puzzle. The girl puzzle, this is called. This whole, whole collection here is the girl puzzle. Nellie Bly. Nellie Bly is spending some time here on Roosevelt Island at the Insane Asylum. Here's another quote by Nellie Bly. I walked with the grace of a queen past the crowd that gathered, curious to see what the new fort unfortunate. Yes. Oh, this is similar to a piece of art in Greenwood. Wow. Yeah, this Braille here, yeah. I think it was the Pebble Bar. Yes, Jim, I think you're right. Pebble Bar sounds very, very familiar. I think it's the Pebble Bar. It's the bar, it's the bar restaurant they use for the opening of Saturday Night Live. When, when, you know, the scene where Phil Hartman's in there, it was that place. But the girl puzzle, Nellie Bly, the best reporter in America, and that's saying a good deal. She takes with her from this earth all that she cared for, an honorable name, the respect and affection of her fellow workers, in the memory of good fights fought, well fought, and many good deeds never to be forgotten by those that had no friend but Nellie Bly. Happy the man or woman that can leave as good a record. Right there. Pretty cool. Good to see you, Rouge Jones. Welcome. And uh, did we get there by the tramway? No, Frank, I took the subway here. Good to see you, Edgar. Buenvenido. Good to see you, Denise. Welcome. I have never, wait, I have never had but one desire, and that was to benefit humanity. Too bad they renamed the Kids Amusement Park next to Beck Spa. Yes, it's called Adventurer's Park today. No more Nellie Bly. I miss Nellie Bly. And for some reason, people think Nellie Bly is, or Adventurer's Park is only for Jewish kids. It's for all kids. It's for everyone, Adventurer's Park behind the Best Buy, next to the BJ's in South Brooklyn. Yes, the F train stops on the island. I gave a despairing farewell glance at freedom as we came in sight of the long stone buildings. Interesting. Good to see you there, Diana Lee, welcome. <laughs> miniature golf cliff is still there. The miniature golf is still there. I dreamed of my mother last night. I think she may come today and take me home. That's yes, Roosevelt Island is a great place to visit and live. Absolutely. I cannot agree more. I wish we knew, these are notable, besides Nellie Bly, these are a whole bunch of other women here 
And I wish we knew, I wish I knew who these other women were. I don't know who they are, but these are all actual women besides Nellie Bly. But for more information, scan the QR code. Let's walk around here. This is pretty cool. This is the upper, upper east side, right over there. And actually we're just south of, um, right over there is actually Gracie Mansion. That is the mansion where the governor, sorry, where the mayor of New York City lives, where the mayor of New York City lives. Gonichiwa from Japan, Gonichiwa. Darlene, Nightbot is stuff that I wrote. So uh, what am I, what is Nightbot talking about? Nightbot is talking about make sure that you don't use too many emojis. Don't, make sure you don't use all capital letters and make sure you don't um, use too many like, like exclamation points and stuff like that. So we want to keep the chat clean so I could read it out here in the real world. Is it tiring with all my cam uh, gimbal and camera equipment? Uh, Nigel, no, 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 not at all. No, my gimbal setup with the microphones only weighs about two, three pounds. Not very heavy at all. Randall's in Ward's Island, just to the north from here. Let's zoom in using the super zoom, and I'll show you guys that. But you know what is tiring? Doing 10,000 steps of live stream. That's what is, th that's what is tiring. I do an average around 10,000 steps. Probably more than that, but I like to say around 10,000. When we hit the two hour mark, it's usually around 10,000. If we hit three hours, probably around 14, 15,000 steps. The 103rd Street footbridge, right there off in the distance. And then Randall's Island right over there where they have lots of music events. And then there is a big insane asylum building right over there. Always a step ahead, Sarge, absolutely. Good to see you, Robert. Hello! Syracuse. Good to see you out there in Syracuse. There's a big Lloyd Lindsay Young hello for you, Robert. Good to see you. I'm going to bring back the Lloyd Lindsay Young hello. He's, I remember WWOR TV. Where's my steam pipe alley? Oh, I don't know anymore. I don't even know anymore. So, oh, we could actually see Gracie Mansion from here. I could actually see it from here. There's Gracie Mansion. That's where the mayor lives. Roughly 90th Street and the East River. Yorkville is the name of the neighborhood. Yorkville, a neighborhood within the Upper East Side. Good to see you, Marty Lewis. Welcome. Shout out to all the channel members. Welcome. The East River is so soothing today. Absolutely. Shout out to all the channel members. Thank you so much for all the channel members for tuning on in. So again, what is that large building on the island? That's an insane asylum. I don't know the exact name of it, but that is a mental health hospital right there. That's a big insane asylum. There used to be an, an insane asylum here on Roosevelt Island. Now it's over on Wards and Randall's Island. So shout out to all the channel members. There are your custom emojis right there. If you become a member of the channel, Dutch Moz Plus, only $5 a month. It's pretty cold here in New York, 57 degrees Fahrenheit over in downtown Brooklyn right now. Very clammy day here in New York. Uh, did my bicycle tour this morning in the rain. It wasn't fun, but I did it anyway. Had one lone guy from Australia, but he tipped me very good. So thank you, Australia. Ooh, 432 Park Avenue up in the clouds right now. Good to see you, Rick. Welcome, right? Less than a cup of coffee, that's right. You know a few people who should be in the insane asylum? Me too, Cliff. Myself included. Especially after I read dumb comments in the chat. They're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. They're coming to take me away. So there it is. 432 Park Avenue going up in the clouds. That's a crazy shot right there. Supposed to be 90 degrees in Ohio today. Yes, it's going to be 90 degrees here in New York on Saturday. Nice and warm for our very fun event that I'm going to live stream on Saturday. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a good one. Do they still use the hospital? Frank, yes, they do. On that island over there, that island and that building is very active. It's equal to a gallon of gas now. That's right. 
Good to see Alina Sandoval. Welcome. It's a clammy day here in New York. It's a clammy day. Wow, this is really high tide today. Look at this. We're like right on it. We are right on the high tide today. Wow, real high tide today, and it's not even the king. Not even the king tide. Yeah, it's is that raw, Rick? This morning it was raw because it was raining. Now it's getting very warm and humid, so it's a very soupy day. So this day brought to you by Soupy Sales. Don't forget to go into mommy and daddy's coat pocket and pick out some of that green money, I mean that green paper, and send it. Send it to me, Soupy Sales. And take out that little green money, to, or that green paper, and send it to me, please. But good to see Alina Sandoval. Is the floating hospital still, still in New York City? Not right now, Clip. The floating hospital, I believe, is touring around the East Coast. No soup for you. No, Soupy Sales, no. Soupy Sales. Yes, the cloud does get in the top of the apartments. How wealthy is that? Very wealthy. $37 million. Uh, these area, uh, these, uh, are those buildings designated for residential areas as seen? And yes, this is all residential. This is all residential here. This is all residential. Soupy Sales was a favorite of yours as a kid? Yeah. Soupy Sales, one of the greatest. One of the greatest. But this is a pretty cool piece of art. This was a pretty cool piece of art. Let's make our way south and let's check out Four Freedoms Park in the southern end of Roosevelt Island. Let's do it. Let's walk down Roosevelt Island. Now we're going to walk down the west side of Roosevelt Island looking at the borough of Manhattan. But here we are in the middle of the East River here on Roosevelt Island between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Upper East Side and Astoria, Queens right over there. But this is all residential here, Upper East Side, a very posh neighborhood. One of the most expensive neighborhoods to live in in all of New York City. Home of Ron Waxman, the old man on the roof. People! That's what he does on live stream. Anyway. <laughs> so technically, John, Roosevelt Island is a part of Manhattan. So city council member of Manhattan, the city the borough president of Manhattan is the one who administers the laws here on Roosevelt Island. So it is Manhattan. Are there any ho hotels on Roosevelt Island? Not yet, Darlene. They want to build uh, hotels here. I believe there's some Airbnbs out here, though. But they are tr planning to build a hotel out here on the Roosevelt Island uh, for the Cornell University campus. So that is in the works. <laughs> You're more than welcome here, John. <laughs> So now we're going to walk down the west side here of Roosevelt Island. People, people who need people, all the luckiest people in the world. You can see New York in real time here, live on the live stream, live here on the Dutch Ma's network of wacky nonsense. Don't forget to hit that like button for more wacky nonsense live here in real time here in New York City. How's that? Is that good? Is that good? <laughs> sing it, right? Sing it. I will sing it. Hello, singer. Hello there, Terry Mary. Welcome. You're watching me trying to visualize the model from yesterday. Awesome, Dinah. Yes, visualize that model from yesterday. Girly girl, good to see you. Girly girl, girly girl, she's a girly girl in a girly world. The official color is pink. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting nuts and I'm only 45 minutes into the live stream. I blame the three mugs of coffee I drank at the Squire Inn Diner. <laughs> Good to see you, girly girl. Frank Zappa wet t-shirt? Really? 
Frank Zappa wet t-shirt, okay. That's right, Ramona. I got all the coffee today. On to the next one, on to the next one. Good to see you there, John M. Out there in London, London calling. You can see New York in real time here, live on the Dutch Moss Network of Wackiness. Don't forget to hit that like button for more exciting adventures here in New York City. <laughs> and um, I'll be up all night, running around in a circle, watching heart to heart. <laughs> I'm going to be up all night watching heart to heart. Where's Jonathan Hart when I need him? God damn it, where is he? Stephanie, where are your powers? <laughs> where are your powers, Stephanie? I need you. Their hobby is murder. <laughs> Vian Le Rose. That's right, Mary. Good to see you, Sunshine After the Rain. Good to see you, Missy. Welcome on into the show. Go Caffeine! That's right, with Freeway. That's right, Jennifer. That's not raining, Amtrak Zephyr. No, it's not raining. It's, it already rained this morning. The rain has pushed out of the New York City area. And uh, it's going to get hot and humid now. You're a little exciting? Awesome. Yeah. All we need now is stupid questions. Coming up next, Dutch Wiles will get a hammer and hit his frontal lobe. Coming up next, here in the live stream. <laughs> frontal lobe be damned. I'm going to get a hammer. <laughs> Speaking of caffeine, go grab yourself some coffee there, Rick. Go grab your coffee. Please, fire me, fire me, please, fire me. Fire me, fire me. Non-stop content, Ramona. Non-stop content. Ramona, I am here to make you laugh, damn it. I am here to make you laugh. That is my job, people. For a little bit of, for a little bit of history, a little bit of factoids, a little bit of sightseeing. But, uh, but let's face it, kids. We're here, we're here to laugh. I'm trying to be the new soupy sales of the internet. So don't forget to go into mommy and daddy's pocket. Take out the little green paper and send it to me. Soupy sales, care of Dutch moms. You're more than welcome, Mercy. I do do a great job. Thank you so much. There's a lot of puddles around here. I gotta navigate around. All right, I thought this was a walking show, right? Yeah, I made your morning, Michelle. Awesome. My job is done. My job is done. I am here to make you laugh. Damn it. Ooh, it's a really cool, uh, really cool piece of art down there. I know, I, he, I remember he wore those bow ties. I remember that. I always cheer you up, Diana. Awesome. That's my job. Yeah, soupy sails. Today is, is, is humid and soupy like soupy sails. And I think that sun's about to come out and it's going to get hot, baby. Is this a mermaid? What is this? What is this over here? We got this woman here just hanging out. Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. Stupid question. Anyone swam across the river? Nige, I could actually show you pictures and video of people swimming across the river. Go to my Flickr page, flickr.com slash Dutchmaz, and you can see people swimming in the East River. More importantly, here on this YouTube channel, there is a video called the Liberty to Freedom Swim, where you could see Martin Strell, the big river man, swim from the Statue of Liberty to Lower Manhattan to the World Trade Center. Yes, people can swim in this river, and, ha and I have seen and documented people swimming in this river. It's not a dumb question. Good to see you. Here comes the sun indeed. Puddles are better than goose guano. I have to agree. Well, good to see you, Sabrina. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great day. That little house again that I tried to 
live stream the last time I was here and didn't have a signal. Now, using the power of 4G LTE, I now have a good signal almost everywhere I go. So let's check out this little house over here. Yeah, the sun's coming out. Sun's coming out, baby. The sun is coming out. Look at this little house over here. It's kind of cool. Wonder what this is. No doubt it has a historic uh, signage on it. Then that other little house is behind it. Let's see what's cooking over here. Wow, this thing is cool. Beautiful view, yeah. Wow, this thing is cool. This thing looks like it's from another world. Yeah, everything is so green, sunshine after the rain. You've got a lot of rain. Yeah, right, another New York gem. Let's see, what is this building here? we got a work in progress sign over here. What is this? This is, well, there's not even a rendering on this. Uh, environmental protection. I have no idea what this building is. Wow. Not a lot of information on it. But look at this birdhouse. Yeah, it's a little chilly outside. The Blackwell house is just behind here, I think. We'll see that. All right, you see trees, green, red, roses too. That's right. There's the weather. 57 degrees, so we went up about two degrees during the live stream so far. There's the Blackwell house. I think the Blackwell house is either here or further down. Let's see. Okay, this is like a... Oh, the Octagon Garden. All right, so I think this building is the Octagon. Okay. That looks like some stone cottages in Scotland, right? Yeah. I tell you, it's like an other world out here in, on uh, Roosevelt Island. You wish it was 57 there, Leela. Is it cold over there or is it too hot? This area is, is very spooky at night, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I think this area is a little spooky at night. Wow, what a real feel of 95. Bloody hell, it's hot down there in Georgia. Turn on the air conditioning. Jeez Louise. Ah, the Sanctuary Roosevelt Island House. Thank you so much, Mercy. The Sanctuary House right here. Ah, this thing is cool. Good to see you, Fox Tech 106. Welcome. Oh, this thing is neat. Yep. The sanctuary. Oh, this is nice. Pretty neat. Yeah, 90 degrees is enough for me too. 90 degrees, it's gonna be 90 degrees here in New York on Saturday. I'm kind of not looking forward to it, but then again, it might make an amazing live stream on Saturday when everyone's all hot and sweaty, maybe taking off their clothes. We gotta have a pretty intense live stream Saturday afternoon. Y'all better not miss that one because that's gonna be a good one. Ooh, it looks like a big ship, a big old ship here. Wow. Wow, what a view. 
Yep, literalist, as you see, there are no humans around. Everyone, everyone else you saw are non-playable characters. No, Rick, we're not going to be... In, we're going to be in Coney on Sunday, Rick. Saturday, we're going to be somewhere in New York City for a really cool event. So you got to have to stay tuned for that one. I don't want to give away the event. But it's going to be pretty awesome. And I'm looking very much forward to it. No, no iced water, no. I'll be drinking iced water on Saturday, though. Sunshine after the rain, you're going to enjoy it a lot. And uh, to all the channel members, you guys are making Saturday's broadcast possible because there's going to be a lot of uh, copyright music being played. There's going to be a lot of pre-recorded music uh, blasting from various speakers. So... That, that's going to be the that's going to be a video for the channel members for the most part is y'all are going to make that video possible and then also uh, if the video does get blocked which it, there's a very good chance it will be uh, then that then then that video after it's live will only be available for channel members but it's because there's a very good chance it's going to be blocked no, we didn't see the smallpox hospital just yet, Neil. We're making our way down there right now. We're making our way down there to the smallpox hospital right now. That's in the southern end of the island. And that is where we are currently heading to right now. Loving the People loving the tour? Yes. People loving and leaving the tour? Yes. But Diana Lee, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be an amazing live stream on Saturday. So get ready for that one. It's going to be pretty amazing. Ooh, I like this. Look at this. Hi, guys. Hi. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Just standing in the river. Don't be sad. No. Don't be sad. He has friends, too. Let's see his friends. I wonder if these are made by Tom Otterness. I think they are. I think this is Tom Otterness here. And I see a plaque up here. I think this is Tom Otterness, one of my favorite New York City artists. Yep. Marriage, The Marriage of Money and Real Estate by Tom Otterness, 1996. I love it. These guys are happy in the East River. Hello there, Clark Kent. 2,000 mules. I guess it is. I, I don't know. Random comment. Random comment. Clark Kent has a random comment in the chat. But these guys are happy. Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, Ramon, isn't his art great? Tom Otterness. Can't can't go wrong with this guy. I've met him a bunch of times. Actually, fun fact, I actually took Tom Otterness and his wife to the beach in the Rockaways on a bicycle tour once. So that was a while back. That was back in like 2005. Yeah, isn't his art amazing in Battery Park City? Yeah, they're happy. They just got married. And then, oh no, look at this guy. Oh no. Oh no, save him. No! No! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Right with Sunshine After Rain, it's amazing. That's cool. Tom Otterness with the awesomeness here on Roosevelt Island. Yeah, Union Square too. Yep, Union Square. Yeah. The uh, 14th Street subway station over there in the... Uh, at the end of the L line and the, uh, and the A train. He has a whole bunch of art in there. Yeah, art in the subway station. Yeah, Jack and Rose. Ah, okay. Yes. Got to go to Roosevelt Island. John Lord. Add some amaz amazing pictures to your Instagram there. I tell you, John Lore takes some fantastic pictures on his Instagram. Hey, 
Yeah, now, now I got to now I got to go to Rizal Island. Yeah. How do they get permission to put their art out? Do they pay a fee? No, Josh. Uh, they have a collaboration with whoever owns the property, and then they allocate space for the art. Sometimes the art is installed with help of the public art fund. Sometimes it's installed with help, in, in this case, probably here in the Roosevelt, uh, Isle, Roosevelt Island uh, Association, or maybe the, the, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, the MTA, but it all depends on who's the landlord. Then they collaborate with them and then they allocate space. So that's how that happens. But it, it, it is a tangled web. Looking for double check span everywhere. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, Danley. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's so nice not having signal issues here on the Roosevelt Island today. Having a nice solid signal here. 4G LTE for the win. Go figure that one out. Spring will be a little late this year. A little late arriving. That's right, 4G, baby. Is there a playground there named Grandpa for Grandpa Al Lewis? I don't know, Neil. I don't know. Very pleasant signal indeed. Absolutely, art is very important to mental health. Yeah, nice picnic. I mean, maybe not now. The grass is all wet, but yeah, some fantastic spots for picnicking here on the Roosevelt Island. Why, did I just walk past the, uh, the playground for Grandpa Al Lewis? That's pretty cool. And I think this is where Grandpa Al Lewis lived, right? Didn't he live out here on Roosevelt Island in his last days on Earth? Yeah, something I'm learning right now, so thank you so much, guys. Ah, okay. Grandpa Al Lewis, friend of Coney Island. Hey, he lived there for many, he lived here for many years. Ah. There you go. Oh, there's another NYC ferry making its way south. Uh, you no need to be worried that there's few people here. We're on Roosevelt Island. Grandpa Al Lewis was a real New Yorker. Yes, he was. I could see the clearing right over there. Look at that shot of one Vanderbilt and the Citicorp Center. Let's zoom in using the super zoom. Wow, look at that shot. Wow. Wild view right there. Wow. Pretty cool. But don't worry if there's too few people around. New York does get empty in spots. Yep, Grandpa Alu is same one as in the Monsters. Enjoying the views. Me too, Robojax. Amazing views indeed. Yes, the rain has gone, Darlene. The rain has gone. Ooh, I want to go on that boat. Isn't the sound of the water calming? I have to agree. I want to be on that boat. 
That's right, Grandpa Aldo is also on car 54, where are you? Car 54, where are you? I remember that show, I used to watch that show every day on my Zenith television. Hey, my way, my rabbit is. <laughs> love the waves there, Diana. Yeah, me too. I love the waves too. <clears throat> Bert and Ernie. Yeah. There you go. Hey, remember play, remember play, cat fifty four. Where are you? I want my me TV. I want my Kojak. I want my Colombo. I want my Quincy. I want all my me TV. I want my monsters. I want them all. I want them all. The waves are catching angry like I am. The kids don't know how good they have it. Back in my day, a gig was a gig. These kids with their terabytes. Mm -hmm. The only terabyte I ever heard of was, was, was pterodactyls, damn it. I blame Soupy Sales for all this. <laughs> I TV. Coming up next on the Old People Channel, Morse TV to fall asleep to. Then after that, subliminal messages to buy stuff. Coming up next on the Old People Channel. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, this is how I stay sane. Acting like a fool, walking around with a gimbal with a camera on it. Feeding the dog from the play bowl with the plate on top of it. Try to be funny. When first time viewers pop in, they're like, what the hell is this? Right? What's old is new again. That's right. That's right. I mean, I'm just discovering heart to heart right now. And that's like a 40 year old TV show. Right? It's good therapy, right? It's good therapy. I'm just discovering heart to heart now. This live stream brought to you by Geritol. Hey, do you need to take a poop? Geritol is the drink for you. Geritol, the official liquid of poop. All right, back in my day, we only had Zenith radios, damn it. Three Zenith radios. I am a natural entertainer. Good to see you, Australia, my way. Good day. Good day, Australia, my way. Yeah, Roosevelt Island's pretty big pretty big. It's long and narrow. Well, good to see you, Australia, Australia my way. Hill Street Blues was okay. I put Hill Street Blues in the same genre as Cop Rock. <laughs> Damn you, Stephen Botchko! Damn you! Yes, I will be careful out there. The Poopinator, yes. The Poopinator, starring Jack Palance. Right? Had to get up to change the channel, right? Remember that, John? Oh my god, had to get up to change channels. The kids don't know how good they have it. Oh, and Japan is called Wahara? All right. It's good to know. Making our way back towards... Ooh, this is a, this is a rare sight. Look at this, guys. The Roosevelt Island trams are racing. Look at that, they're racing people. Oh my God, they're racing. Look at that. Oh my God, there they go. Wow, you never see that. Wow, that's really cool. They're racing. Oh my God. Get them. Get them. Oh my God. Are they filming an episode of, uh, of Kojak up there? Is this, is this like the, the, the low speed tram chase? Oh my God. Get them. Get him! Oh my god, they're racing. 
Come on, get him. I think they're filming Kojak up there. Maybe they're filming the cloud. Yeah, maybe they're filming the cloud up there with the slow speed uh, tram chase. Go, go, go. Wow, that's exciting. You never see that. Wow. You got the one on the right? <laughs> oh no, they disappeared behind buildings. All right. Wow, that was cool. You never see two going like that parallel. You never see two going like that. That's a first for me. All right, win, place, or show. That's right, Ronald. Who has a trifecta on that? Who has a trifecta on that? Anyway. Wow. Wow, a lot of action happening here on, on Roosevelt Island today. The trams are, the trams are racing. All right, nice view, right? Good to see you, Esfield. Good to see everybody on this Thursday. Hit the like button if you like this kind of nonsense. Do you like this nonsensical nonsense I call a live stream? Well, hit that like button. We're right now going to make our way down to Four Freedoms Park. And then after that, we'll make our way up and over the Roosevelt Island Tram. And then we'll make our way over to uh, Rockefeller Center for some more weird art. This D. Bearer, welcome. Okay, now we're passing by the Blackwell House. The Blackwell House is just up the hill here. I don't feel like walking up a hill right now, so I'm just gonna keep on going south here. But yeah, weird art. We just saw some, they called the, what's it called, girl puzzle? Nellie Bly? So uh, we just saw that in the north part of Roosevelt Island. Now we're making our way to the south, and we're gonna make our way over to Four Freedoms Park. Thank you so much, Sun Chen, after the rain. Thank you so much for those kind words. Ah, today the Blackwell House has been refurbished and used as a community center. And it was designated as a New York City landmark and national landmark. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much for the information there, Neil. Out there in Flatbush. Have I been to the red sculpture across the river beside the bridge? Uh, no, I have not. There you go. Thank you so much for the information there, Neil. Very peaceful indeed, Julie. And I don't think that sculpture across the way is accessible. It always reminds me of a roller coaster track. Let's zoom in on it using the super zoom here. I think it's like a, uh, I think it's like a uh, loading, uh, a garbage loading area. There it is. Yeah, I've never been there up close and personal, but I've seen this throughout the years. And to me, that looks like a little roller coaster, but it's not. And I think that's an area where they load uh, garbage onto a pier. But it's a pretty cool sculpture. Nonetheless, I'm glad you're enjoying the walk there, Diana. Uh, I wouldn't recommend fishing here. Uh, the tide is pretty strong. Oh, it's on the roof of a park. Okay, awesome. What can you get if you could fish here? Some bass, some grouper, some fluke. 
Ah, it's a Squirts Golf Looper. There you go. All right, Jim. Jim, I'll go with that. It's a Schwarzkopf Looper here in the East River. Uh, very ill, uh, maybe. It's on the roof of a park, okay. So here's where my journey began. This is where the subway station is. This is where I took the F train here. And then not that far from here, and we're going to see it in a few moments, is the Roosevelt Island tram. And we will be taking that into Manhattan. Ah, contaminated fish, okay. Yes, I wouldn't say the fish are contaminated, but they're not exactly the, the best to eat up here. Looks like people can get under that red sculpture. I think they can. I, I don't know, though. I've never seen people actually there. Like I said, I think it's part of a a uh, pier a pier for loading garbage hello there ed ah awesome it's midnight in japan thanks for staying up late oh you're seeing a pic of it okay awesome good to know Let's see, can I get back down along the waterfront? Let's see. I really can't walk down there. But let's get one last view of this structure here across the river. Do I enjoy eating raw fish only when I'm eating sushi? There's a playground directly underneath the coaster sculpture. Really interesting. I don't see much of a playground there. Oh, there's one person standing over there. Okay, I see some benches over there. Okay, I guess you can go over there. Yeah, somebody's walking his dog over there. Wow, oh, look at that, okay. Well, we're not gonna go there today, so. Maybe in the near future, we'll explore the Upper East Side. Yes, cores for 182 people. Yes, indeed. Yes, there is a way to get to Governor's uh, to Roosevelt Island by foot, and that is via that is via the Roosevelt Island Bridge in Astoria, Queens. Ah, it's a dog park. All right. It's nice, but a little anticlimactic. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. I've never been there, so. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll check it out. Hello there, person. Here comes the Roosevelt Island tram. I was hoping they were gonna race back, but I guess not. Ah, the Q102 bus. So that takes you from Queens into Roosevelt Island. We're going to be riding this in about a probably a half hour from now. So we're gonna do that in a little bit. Hello there, Urban City, welcome. Welcome to Roosevelt Island. We're making our way now 
down to Four Freedoms Park in the southern end of Roosevelt Island. We just went up to the northern end of the island to go see some weird art, and now we're making our way to the southern end to see some more art. Good to see you, Chibe. Welcome. Nice to see you again, too. Welcome. This is where I lost the signal last time I was over here. And the signal right now is solid. Yeah, no more tram race. I missed that. Just goes to show you, you could live in New York your whole life and still have to discuss. Yes, absolutely, Donna Lynn. Absolutely, Donna Lynn. Yes, each bridge does have its own elegance. Good to see you there, um, Brian Davis. Welcome. Yes, New York has a lot to see. There's a lot to discover here in New York. So there's always something new. How much is it to ride the cable car? $2.75. Unfortunately, I cannot use my Omni card to ride the cable car. You do need to get a Metro card. And we're going to be procuring one before we hop on the tram. I have $3 at the ready to, uh, to ride the Roosevelt Alley tram in a little bit. Your favorite channel, awesome. Is it, it is the same as the subway, yes, $2.75. You could use a Metro card, but not the Omni card. And I have an Omni card, so. Good to see you, Lady O. At least the rain has stopped. I'm very happy that the rain has stopped. Had to do a bicycle tour in the rain earlier this morning. So I'm happy to be walking around, not in the rain, Lady Orleans. Good to see you. Here is the campus of Cornell University here in uh, Roosevelt Island. That poor kid was walking the wrong direction. He was walking north when he should have been walking south. But this is the all-new research campus of Cornell University. You're in Texas, just walk through the heat. Oh my God, Urban City. It's getting warm here, but it is still cool. But it's gonna be warm here. Here in New York City, it gets to 90 degrees on Saturday. So stay tuned for the heat. What's the difference between the two cards? Um, I don't know there, Darlene. Are you talking about the Roosevelt Island tram? Or, oh, you talk about the cards. Okay, so you have Omni card and you have the Metro card. The Metro card you swipe, the Omni card you tap. You can now use Omni on all New York City buses, including express buses, and all New York City subway stations. But unfortunately, they have not installed an Omni reader here on Roosevelt Island for the tram. Also, you could use Omni if you're using local bus or subway. Tap the card three times, starting from a Monday, and once you get to 13 taps, you then get all the rest of the week's rides on the subway or bus for free. For more information, go to Omni.com. Or I'll just do the bus announcement. Great news. You could now tap, use Omni on this bus. <laughs> get to see her. Ruben Quinones. Buenvenidos. More than welcome, Darlene. And should I show you? I feel like sitting down for a moment and I could show you guys an Omni card. Or, Lady O, you've heard that announcement, right? <laughs> Great news. You could now use this, you could now use Omni on this bus. No more wondering if you have money left on your Metro card. Urban City, I actually went to school to learn that narration voice. Please stand clear of the closing doors. Merci, I'm not thirsty at all, but I do have water with me. Good to see you, Ruben. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please stand clear of the closing doors. I know they're gonna use my voice, Lady O, and I'm not gonna get the residuals. Oh my God. I'm not gonna get the residuals. Not thirsty at all. No, no, no. Nay, nay, nay. Yes, great view here. Not full of tourists. Have to agree. No, no chocolate shake today, Ed. No. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Um, Ed, Ed, ignore. Um, 
Yeah, when I had that chocolate shake the other day, I, I literally zoned out and got really high. I was zoning out. I felt like I just smoked the biggest blunt I ever smoked in my life. And I haven't smoked a blunt since I was a kid. And um, yeah, that was, I, I was zoning out. I was tripping. I was tripping so hard actually from that chocolate shake that when I finished live stream and I went down to the subway, I actually twisted my ankle. I always twist my right my, my, my right ankle uh, whenever I'm not thinking about walking around. So, I, yeah, I twisted it pretty bad, and I was limping all the way home. Yep, sugar bomb, sugar high, chocolate high. I got a sugar rest. Da -da 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 -da. That's a TikTok song there. Man, I got a sugar rest. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, the kids use that song on the TikTok. Back in my day, TikTok was a clock. Where is the syncopated clock when I need it? Right, sugar can, do, yeah, sugar can do that to me. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We got some great landmarks from this view right here. Let me point them out for you. 432 Park Avenue, the Chrysler Building, in between all these other buildings, the Chrysler Building, one Vanderbilt picking up on top, and then the United Nations is right down there. All right, Tic Tac is candy to me. Me too, lady -o. Can I take a minute to put my feet up? <laughs> I'm looking for a dry chair to sit on. Oh, here's somebody fishing. Somebody was mentioning fishing earlier. Oh, did we get something? Good to see you, Viking 180. Welcome. sun is doing its darnness to try to come out. Got some gummies Christmas Day. Nice. Awesome, S Fields. Awesome. All right. We're getting near Four Freedoms Park, the smallpox hospital. Coming up in a few moments here. Ooh, we got some unicorns here, electric city bikes. These are electric city bikes. And there's no new city bikes here. There's a new design for city bike, which looks really cool. Yeah, Lady-O, I am getting mentally prepared for the heat wave on Saturday. It's going to be uh, 90 degrees on Saturday. And I'm going to be outside running around. Went to bed loopy. Oh, no. Oh, sleep, sleep it off, Espiels. You can sleep it off. All right, now we're entering the southern end of Roosevelt Island. Wow, there's snow in Colorado this weekend, Jack. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ooh, is this a really a restroom here? Oh my God, there's a restroom here. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I am going to take advantage and use one of the restrooms here. Wow, this is kind of cool. This is vacant? Yes, it is. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's fireworks time, baby. All right. Y'all are going to see some fireworks now while I do my own fireworks. I'm going to do some fireworks here, people. I'm going to do some fireworks. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. So first thing I'm going to do is shut the camera off. Shut the
I really live streamed that one. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> That was a successful trip to the loo. We only lost 10 viewers. So, successful trip. Successful trip to the loo. All right. No buffering. Yeah, no, no buffering. Hooray. Hooray for party wood. I got a, like a leaking party wood. I feel like a new man now. I try to be the man, Douglas. I'm literally live streaming. Yes. Uh, right, great acoustics in the John. Yes, I'm gonna sing just like uh, I'm gonna sing just like uh, 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 Jack Palance. And, uh, <laughs> is my fly open, Darlene? Okay, no, it's closed. Just checked it. We had a potty. We had a tardy for the po potty for the potty. All right. <laughs> Thank God, I had to really go to the bathroom too. So. That's what happens when you drink three mugs of coffee. Oh. <laughs> ah, I feel like a new man now. Now I can live stream for five more hours. <laughs> I'm walking a little bit faster now. Yep, end of intermission. First time ever in a New York City public bathroom. Awesome. Yes. That's a live stream first. Let's say hello to the FDR Hope Memorial. This is the, this is a memorial in honor of people who are disabled. How cool is this? How cool is that? So Ed, we're in the southern end of Roosevelt Island and we're right near the smallpox hospital is right there But we went to go see uh, at the beginning of the live stream we did see uh, some art on the north end of the island um, Nellie Bly girl puzzle we saw At the beginning of the live stream Now we're making our way <laughs> and I can't say live stream now without cracking up. Uh, <laughs> But now we're going to make our way to Four Freedoms Park here in Roosevelt Island. Good to see you, Jose Torres. Wepa, Puerto Rico. High five, FDR. High five, high five. High five, high five. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Um, <laughs> great statue indeed, yeah. That was the FDR Hope Memorial. Now we're gonna make our way over into Four Freedoms Park. Let's do it. Great view of the United Nations across the river. Again, this is the East River. Roosevelt Island in the middle of the East River between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Ooh, it's one of the great Rupert's relatives. Hey, hey. <laughs> Here's a smallpox hospital. <clears throat> the modern ruins of the smallpox hospital. Don't you like those chairs? Me too. Hey, the sun is really trying hard to get out, Diana. You've never seen these abandoned hospitals? Yeah. The smallpox hospital is a Gothic revival structure designed by renowned American architect James Renwick Jr. This hospital opened to the public on December 18th, 1856. It was the first hospital dedicated to treating smallpox, a highly contagious Viral disease. Good to see you there, uh, Heidi. Yeah, pretty cool structure here. 
So it's a historic landmark, Lidio, so that's why they haven't torn it down. It's a national historic landmark. So pretty cool. And now, this is my first time ever live streaming for Freedoms Park. Yeah, the island was used to isolate contagious diseases. Right, thank goodness for vaccines, right? Ooh, great view of One World Trade Center from here. Wow, we got some really cool uh, views from skyscrapers here. So let's check this out here. Let's zoom in using the super zoom. One World Trade Center is right there. There's One World Trade Center. You're more than welcome, Heidi. And then look at this, everyone. How clean is the Easter River? Well, you could go kayaking in it. Check it out. How cool is that? They're going kayaking down the East River. They got some canoes. They're having a good day. Yeah. How cool is that, guys? Wow, yeah, look at the current. Yeah, the current's strong, Ramona. One Vanderbilt right here. There's one Vanderbilt right over there. The American Copper Building further down. Let's zoom in on it. There's the American Copper Building. Me too, Ruben. I have done kayaking before here in New York. It's a lot of fun. Is Kramer swimming here? No, Darlene. So here is Four Freedoms Park. Let's do the full, uh, let's have the full view here. You love Roosevelt Island. Thanks for the live stream. You could watch it every day. Awesome, William. Good to see you. There was, there's free kayaking this summer also. HC Teacher, welcome. So Long Island City, Queens is right over there. And now we got to go up these big stairs here. All right, such an underrated place, right? Oh, look at this. I didn't know they had lounge chairs up here. How cool is this? Always a surprise, right? Yep, people just appear. This park is one of the last works done by famed architects Louis Kahn. Really? Louis Kahn designed this? Wow, I didn't know that. Neil, thank you so much for the information. I, I'm like, wow, Louis Kahn designed this? That's pretty cool. Where can we buy your merchandise? Uh, HC Teacher, you're gonna see a link uh, pop up periodically. And uh, check out Made in NY. But it's here, you'll see the link here in the chat. Wow, this is really cool. All right, looks like the Cherry Esplanade at Prospect Park, right? This is beautiful. Wow, Louis Kahn did this? That, you know, Neil, I, I'm a, like a fan of Louis Kahn, so thank you for that. I did not know that he designed this park. Ah, he celebrates the four freedoms that Roosevelt spoke of in his 1941 State of the Union speech. Freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom of, from fear. Wow, that's really cool, Neil. Back in the day, you decided... Uh, not to date a guy because he lived in Roosevelt Island. I was shallow, didn't like him enough. Well, I feel you. S feels not for everyone. It does look like a painting, absolutely. It's pretty amazing seeing this. This is really cool. It's hard to imagine we are in the middle of the East River. Good to see you, Mason. Love it there, Heidi. Me too. 
Oh, this is really cool. Really, really cool. I could imagine in the summertime this gets pretty popular. Kind of like a postcard, right? Yeah. This is my first time live streaming here, so it's pretty cool. Darren, gonna have to definitely come here, take a ride on the Roosevelt Island tram and check this out. And here's the man himself, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Wow, this is cool. There he is, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Never streamed here before, Patrick. No, it's my first time ever streaming here. At least in this park. I've, I, I've done the northern end of the park before, northern end of the island before. Loving today's walk, me too. Heidi, I'm glad you're enjoying. Yeah, the face of FDR. And then we, we come over here, and look at this view here. Wow. That's right, Esfields. Look at this view here. It's a pretty epic view here. Wow. Wow. And the American Copper Building, One World Trade Center just peeking out. Long Island City, Queens, the Williamsburg Bridge. We got the Cheesecake Tower we could see all the way from here, too. Look at that. Downtown Brooklyn right there. And the Cheesecake Tower, 9 decal, the Brooklyn Tower. I see a Circle Line boat making its way up the East River right now. And there is the 14th Street uh, steam generation plant just behind that boat. And there's the Cheese Grater building. Of course, the only FDR drive, and then we have Utha right there with that green structure on it, that, that green box structure there. Uthan Island technically in there, part and then of the United Nations Empire State Building just, just behind it. Now look at World Trade Center. There is the World Trade Center. One world right there. Just behind NYU Langone Hospital. Good to see you, Comic Con Hunter. Welcome. Wow, it's a great view from here. Wow. Pretty amazing view. Yeah, really nice. You know, Madam Mojo, I don't know. I don't know if anything is delegated to Eleanor. At least here in New York, anyway. The future days which we seek to make secure, we look forward to a world founded upon four essential human freedoms. The first is freedom, freedom of speech and expression everywhere in the world. The second is freedom of every person to worship God in his own way everywhere in the world. The third freedom from want everywhere in the world. The fourth freedom from fear anywhere in the world. That is no vision of a distant millennium. It is a defined basis for a kind of world attainable in our own time and generation. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, January 6, 1941. How cool is that? Wow, amazing views here. We can see the Pepsi-Cola sign from here. Let's zoom in using the super zoom. We took that ferry a few weeks ago. Remember that? Wasn't that fun? There's the Pepsi-Cola sign. 
right there. Wow, this is really cool. And here is this, oh, of course, it's the Circle Line Brooklyn. Let's see if we get some people waving over to us. Nope, nobody's paying attention. The Circle Line Brooklyn boat, right there. Circle Line, Brooklyn. One day we'll ride that again. Shout. I won't shout there. And I want to respect everyone else who's enjoying the park. Let me take a quick sip of water. After all, we got to use the bathroom. So I can now take a sip of water. Beautiful view here, I tell you what. All right. Should I have my, uh, you know, I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have a piece of a Reese's peanut butter cup so I could be all wacky on the tram. Mmm, Reese's peanut butter cup. I had one before the stream. Now I'm gonna have one halfway through the stream. Here comes the wakes. That's right. <laughs> right? Have it. Yummy. I am. Let's do it. Yeah, right, Neil? Oh, my God. Mmm. Yes, he would, that's field. Yes, he will. All right. Mmm. Oh, my God. All right. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm ready to party. <laughs> I am ready to party. Let's do it. Good to see you, Teresa. And good to see you, the Bailey. Welcome. Welcome to Roosevelt Island. Sugar high on the horizon. Jack, it's coming, baby. It's coming. All right. Let's make our way to the Roosevelt Island tram. It's time to ride the tram, folks. It's time to ride the tram. I got a sugar rush, da 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 da. All right, let's party. Let's a party like it's a 1999. Wild and crazy guys. <laughs> For all the dogs watching, by the way, where the hell am I? I'm here on Roosevelt Island between Manhattan and Queens. I'm right now just south of the Queensboro 59th Street Bridge, the Ed Koch Queensboro 59th Street Bridge, here in the middle of the East River. Awesome Roosevelt Island here in the East River between the boroughs of Manhattan and Queens. Right, who let the dogs out? Some guy. <laughs> I am the sugar daddy, that's right. Good to see you, Rainier, welcome. Yeah, the Reese's work fast. It's like, it has a similar uh, hit rate to like crack cocaine. Um, <laughs> it's an instant high brought to you by Hershey. Oh my God, Ed, oh my God. Square we catch. Mer. All right, time to ride the Roosevelt Island tram. Let's see how many people are on the Roosevelt Island tram. I hope it's not too crowded. Crack is whack. <laughs> Back in your day, we just had cocaine. That's right. Cocaine, brought to you by Columbia. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy, we're just really dumb now, boy. Oh my goodness. Wait until we see the weird art in, in, in Rockefeller Center. No doubt I'm going to act even more crazy and weird. Have y'all seen the new art in Rockefeller Center? It's really weird. It's going to be like, it's like laundry. <laughs> the new art is like laundry. Ooh, there's no exit on this side here. Okay. No exit on this side. We're here behind the smallpox hospital now. But they want me to exit via the west side, so let's do it. Let's, eg let's exit via the west side. And then we're going to make our way over to the Roosevelt Island tram. And then after that, we're going to make our way to, to um, Rockefeller Center. And then I'm going to show you guys the art over there, and then we're going to end our live stream. You prefer downers? No! Don't, 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 don't do downers. Nay, 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 nay. Right? The bird's saying don't do downers. The bird up there is, right? Don't do downers, right? Yeah. Right? Right, little bird? Right. Don't do downers. Yeah. That's right. I agree with the bird. No, no downers and beer. Just beer. Yeah, we're going to fly over your head. Flying on the tram. Let's do the Roosevelt Island tram, shall we? It's going to be fun. Yeah, the map does show a continuous walkway, but it's closed on the other side. I wanted to go kind of around the whole island, but I guess we can't do that. Wow, these guys are ballsy leaving their 